Greetings, mortals! This is I, the Gamer, and I'm going to review all One Piece over 885. It's Bray! Yep, it's Bray indeed. The fight between Katakuri and uh, Luffy continues. And unfortunately, uh, Katakuri is still calm after that little episode last time, and he's shrieking Luffy pretty badly, even though Luffy is in his gear 4 and he's beating him up. Unfortunately, so Luffy remembers that he doesn't have much time until Gear 4 runs out, so he just decides to run away as far as he can before Katakuri can beat him up while he's in his base form. And he needs to wait out those 10 minutes for his Haki to come back. He runs away as far as he can and Gear 4 runs out, so he just decides to run on foot and then he runs into Blay. And this page, this page is freaking golden. <laughs> Luffy just stumbles onto Bray, looks at her, all shocked, and then he gives us a big Luffy smile. And Bray is terrified because she is now what's coming. Luffy just goes and grabs Bray and jumps through a nearby uh, mirror. Category tries to attack him, but Luffy was just too fast. Thankfully, the mirror is broken by Category. So he can't go after them, but the situation doesn't really improve that much because Luffy and Bray landed in Nuts Island, and Nuts Island is uh, currently being destroyed by an out of control Big Mom. So that's no good, and there are a bunch of Big Mom pirates that, that are trying to restrain her. And unfortunately, she uh, immediately notices uh, Luffy and throws a freaking building at him, and that's a freaking big building that, that, that is shaped like a nut or something. So yeah, Luffy just decides to run away with Brulee and find a mirror, but uh, uh, Perospero tries to stop him with uh, a candy wall, and Luffy can't break through it. He tries with Gigant's pistol, but he doesn't have Haki, so that didn't do much. So he just runs away the old-fashioned way and tries to avoid the attacks from other Big Mom pirates and Big Mom herself. Yep, we need to find that mirror or else Luffy is gonna get screwed again. But fortunately Nami and the others are having a pretty nice sail, everything is going smoothly. They don't see any Big Mom pirates. And speaking of other Big Mom pirates, they're preparing their fleet to search for all of the strafas, the Pirate Tank Pirates and uh, the Sun Pirates. But fortunately, we know that the, the Sea Snails aren't doing their job and they can't pinpoint them, so that's good for now. And there's also another bit of good news. Sanji and the others on Kako Island are finishing off the cake and it's supposedly really delicious, so that's good. Sanji decides that they'll finish the cake uh, on a ship uh, because they need to bring it to Big Mom as far as, as possible and meet up with uh, the Strafheads at the Sunny. So yeah, that was pretty much it. Pretty interesting chapter, a lot of a lot of stuff happened. It looks like we're nearing and it looks like we're nearing the end of this arc. But not before another uh, break. Well, what can you do? Oda needs to rest too. He can't be Goda if he is dead, right? We know that Katakuri is beatable now that if he doesn't keep his composure, but that doesn't help us much because he's still alive. Well, he's trapped in the mirror world without Brulee, and he won't get out that easily because Luffy <laughs> has taken Brulee, so that's good. He's at least trapped, so he won't be that much of a problem for now, unless Brulee escapes from Luffy. That would be bad. Well, Luffy also wants to use another mirror to escape from Big Mom, so he'll have to run into Katakuri once more, I guess. Oh, let's hope that things will turn out for the best. Sanji and uh, Nami's uh, groups are doing good, so let's have hope, right guys? Oh yeah, that was pretty much everything I had to say about this chapter. If you liked this review slash reaction, then please like, rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Let's be Space the Gamer, signing out. Peace, folks.